In recent years, it has been clear that the terms of the debate have changed. A consensus is beginning to emerge in favor of a substantive reform of the current international drugs regime. The so-called drugs war, which began in the 70s, has not reduced production, it has not reduced trafficking, and nor has it reduced consumption of drugs throughout the world. Drugs trafficking continues to be one of the most lucrative activities of organized crime. Inevitably, the illegal trade in narcotics has led to death and violence, mainly in the producer and transit countries. My country is one of those nations that has paid a very high price a too high a price in terms of the loss of its internal peace, suffering and loss of human lives. We know more than most countries what are the limits and the painful implications of the paradigm that is mainly based on prohibition. According to the Mexican government, between 2007 and 2014, an estimated 164,000 people died as a result of drug cartel violence. On April 21st, Nieto offered legislation to help alleviate this crisis. But instead of more war, Nieto hopes to attack cartel profits. He announced plans to legalize medical cannabis in Mexico, while also decriminalizing up to 28 grams, or one ounce of the plant. We must move beyond prohibition to effective prevention and effective regulation. Thousands of lives depend on this.